So something significant just happened, and I mean world-changing significant, at least in the semiconductor space. In May 2025, reports started coming out of Beijing that Huawei has begun testing a domestically developed EUV lithography machine. Yes, extreme ultraviolet lithography, the very same bleeding edge technology that's been the gatekeeper for 7nm, 5nm, and now 3nm chips. It's the tech that was supposed to be out of China's reach, locked away behind US-led sanctions, Western patents, and decades of engineering dominance, but somehow Huawei is doing it anyway. According to sources like DigiTimes and Tech Power Up, testing is already underway at Huawei's facility in Dongguan. This isn't vaporware. Trial production is expected as early as the third quarter of 2025, and if everything goes to plan, mass production could follow in 2026. That timeline is aggressive. For a country that just a few years ago was frozen out of the most advanced chip-making tech on Earth, this is nothing short of extraordinary. To understand why this is a big deal, let's rewind a bit. Since 2020, China has been effectively cut off from purchasing EUV systems due to export controls led by the U.S. government. ASML, the Dutch firm that's been the world's sole supplier of EUV machines, halted all exports to China. The idea was to delay China's semiconductor advancement by at least a decade. For a while, it looked like it worked. Huawei and SMIC, the country's leading foundry, were stuck at around 7 nm, unable to move further without EUV capabilities. That was supposed to be a ceiling. But behind the scenes, China's been grinding. While the rest of the world saw sanctions, they saw a mission. Huawei and SMIC doubled down, launching a full-scale effort to build a homegrown chip-making ecosystem. They invested in R&D, they recruited top-tier engineers, and they started reverse engineering the tech they couldn't buy. It was a long shot, but now the results are starting to materialize. And here's where it gets even more interesting. The system Huawei is testing doesn't use the same EUV light source as ASML. Instead of laser-produced plasma, LPP, they're reportedly using something called laser-induced discharge plasma, or LDP. This approach vaporizes tin between electrodes, hits it with a high-voltage discharge, and creates plasma that emits EUV light at precisely 13.5 nanometers. That's the same wavelength ASML's machines use to etch those impossibly small 3mm features into silicon wafers. Now, LDP might sound like a workaround, and in some ways it is, but it could also be a stroke of genius. It's simpler, it's more compact, and it's potentially far cheaper than the $350 million zero-cents LPP-based EUV systems that ASML builds. That matters. If China can build EUV machines at a fraction of the cost and scale them across domestic foundries, they don't just catch up, they start to compete globally. That shifts the whole semiconductor. And it's not just Huawei. A separate team based in Harbin reportedly hit the same 13.5 new wavelength milestone earlier this year. That suggests this isn't an isolated win. It's a coordinated national push, multiple research groups, multiple patents, strategic alignment at every level, from corporate to government. This is China betting big on semiconductor self-sufficiency. And so far, the bet seems to be paying off. Why is 3NM such a big deal? It's not just marketing. As chips get smaller, you can cram more transistors into the same space. That means more performance, lower energy consumption, and capabilities that weren't possible just a few years ago. Your next smartphone could run AI models locally without sending data to the cloud. Autonomous vehicles could operate with near-flawless perception. Even quantum computing and high-performance servers could see major gains. Everything we associate with next-gen computing, AI, edge devices, quantum, 6G, it all depends on smaller, denser, more efficient chips. Today, TSMC is building 3NM chips for Apple. Intel is chasing the same node to regain market relevance, and now Huawei and SMIC are on the verge of entering that same race. If their EUV tech works, and if the yields are competitive, China won't just join the leading edge of chip making, they might challenge it outright. Let's talk numbers. ASML's EUV machines are incredibly complex, built with over 100,000 components, some sourced from dozens of countries. It took them more than two decades to reach their current performance levels. China isn't there yet, but their machines don't have to match ASML's in every metric. They just have to be good enough for production. 
If Huawei's simpler LDP-based systems can push out 3nm chips at decent yields and do it cheaper, that's a winning formula. That's a disruption model, not a duplication model. The geopolitical implications are enormous. ASML's monopoly would be effectively broken. China would no longer be reliant on foreign suppliers for its most advanced semiconductors. Sanctions meant to contain China's chip ambitions might end up accelerating them instead. In fact, according to Reuters, Huawei's founder reportedly told Xi Jinping earlier this year that chip shortages are easing. That wasn't bluster. It was a signal. And Western companies are starting to feel it. NVIDIA has warned investors about Huawei's rapid rise in AI chips. SMSC's 7NM chips are already powering Huawei phones and AI accelerators. They're not waiting around. And now, with EUV machines entering domestic trial, the next leap to 3NM is well within reach. But let's be clear, this isn't a fairy tale ending. There are still major challenges ahead. ASML's ecosystem includes ultra-precise mirrors, photoresistant materials, and metrology tools that have taken decades to develop. Huawei's system might work in isolation, but scaling it to match global foundries like TSMC is another matter. Trial production might hit snags, yields might fall short, and even if they get everything right, building the full EUV supply chain from scratch is a monumental task. This is not a sprint. It's a marathon, but China is clearly running it at full tilt. ASML's CEO said just last year that China is still 10 to 15 years behind in EUV tech. That might have been true in 2024, but in 2025, that gap is narrowing rapidly. If Huawei hits its production goals in 2026, the entire global chip landscape could shift overnight. And that's the real story here. This isn't just about hardware or software or engineering. It's about sovereignty, national resilience, technological independence. Huawei's Shanghai R&D Center is already recruiting elite engineers to build EUV systems from the ground up. The goal is clear, self-reliance at all costs. Right now, the West is watching. They're not panicking yet, but they're definitely not ignoring this. Because the moment China proves it can make 3NM chips at scale without foreign help, the rules of the game change. This isn't David versus Goliath. It's Goliath learning how to build his own weapons. By the third quarter of 2025, we'll know whether Huawei's machine is the real deal. And if it is, the rest of the world won't just be reacting, they'll be catching up. So what happens next? Does China pull it off? Does the West double down on innovation? Or are we heading for a split tech ecosystem? East and West, building in parallel, racing in real time. That's the question. And the answer could redefine global power in the digital age. Let me know what you think. Will China succeed in scaling 3M with domestic EUV tech, or are they still a few breakthroughs away? Drop your thoughts below. And if you're into this kind of deep tech analysis, make sure you subscribe and check out the companion video on TSMC's China crisis and SMIC's 3M shock. Well, we're just getting started.